people are in the exact same situation as you. So choose. Look at them, get to know them, and understand them. But choose. know these people. How am I going to judge them? There's a description on every photo. Yeah, a word. I don't see a problem here. The picture with the most votes dies. But if it's an all-around draw, you can all go home. <laughs> so, choose. One, two, <laughs> Why are you doing this? That's not important. What's important is your vote. No. No, I won't do this. You don't have a choice. Only options. I didn't do anything! Let me go! You don't have to choose yet. You have time to think it over. Think it over. Look at that. Three votes left. Well, I did not see that coming. But you're pretty damn unpredictable. <laughs> That's why I chose you. Chose me? Mm-hmm. It's a game. Well, a very serious game. Someone is going to die. Every game has its rules, and we follow those rules. We, we, who, what do you mean by- But, you have already voted, so you're out of the game. Oh, great, we can play our own game. That's what he say. I want to know why you chose so quickly. Uh, I- Did you even think about the others? That your vote could be the second vote that kills one of them. Do you ever think? I don't want to spell this out blatantly for you, but you're so submissive. Yeah? Are you going to deal with it like you always have? I don't. Like you always do. Is it hard to grasp at first? The fact that you're dying? I can't even imagine. Do you just give up or do you keep fighting? You're still here, so I guess that means you're fighting. But what if this was your ticket out of here? I'm sure you've seen others take the easy way out. Well, I know you've seen two others take the easy way out. Kill me then if that's what you want. But I'm not playing your game. I'm not gonna die because some bitch says so! And why the fuck are you smiling? Oh, the futility. 
What the fuck do you want? Only one of you has it coming. But do you think it'll be you? Yeah, no one gives two shits about people like me. Listen, I don't know what's going on, but I am not going to choose someone to die. Why not? Do you need more ice for your eye? Or um, something to drink? Or you don't drink. Um, something to eat, no, maybe? No, stop. Okay. You're asking me to kill someone based on a word. Listen, I understand where you're coming from. So let's, let's make this fair. I'll let you ask me two questions. Why would I want to know more about them? Hey, the questions are up to you. The point is, in the end, you're gonna have I'm to- I'm not ch choosing! You're making this difficult! Sorry, I'll give you a minute. Remember. Two questions, then choose. I guess it. This is some social experiment bullshit. Well, I hope you're all enjoying this. Hmm. I guess you could call it something like that, but I wouldn't call it bullshit because everything has a reason. What word is on my picture? But that would ruin all of the fun. I get two questions! You also get the right to remain silent. But yes, yes, you do have two questions. Well, why didn't you say that before? Oh, you were so determined. It was nice to see you take charge for once. I didn't know. I didn't... You're not telling me everything. The world is full of mysteries. What's in Roswell? Who built Stonehenge? Who's gonna get out of here alive? Oh, oh no, 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 no! Do you talk to your child with that mouth? Why did she become addicted? Why would she subject herself to that life? Your guess is as good as mine. Unless that is your question. It is. Well, her story starts out like most. Uh, she had a good life, even with her unplanned pregnancy. You know, she had hope a great house on 56th Street, but now her husband is married to her best friend. And instead of pushing forward, she decided to push the bottle. An addict, then, not a drug addict. Alcoholism can be just as bad as any drug addiction, so she is an addict. But you assumed something worse. So that's what this is. The, these labels mean nothing. They're meaningless. Oh, they mean everything. Can you imagine how she's raising a kid with an alcohol addiction? I'm going fine without my family. <laughs> I mean, it's so common how families break apart as casually as bodies decomposing in their graves. And no one notices except for the worms burrowing through them. I just want you to picture how she's infecting her child with her addictive ways so her child will grow up and infect society too just as much. So wouldn't it be better to stop the problem at its root cause instead of letting her rot her own child further? You did anything to my child! Oh, shh. Why would I? This is a private engagement. It's just between us. Why are you so paranoid? Are you scared of what's written all over your face? Are you afraid that the others are going to find out about you? Who you really are? How much do you know about me? Everything. We know everything about you. The question is, do they know? What label did you give me? Addict. You know, it's kind of funny actually, they probably think, despite the labels, that you're the washed up druggie. <laughs> Him. What was he in for? Did I overspeak? What was he in for? I don't want to make you feel uncomfortable. It is a space of confidence where, you know, we can talk. Then talk! 
Answer my question. That's my second question. Of course. Well, it was that he was indicted for aggravated robbery. He used a fake weapon to rob a convenience store to get money to pay off some medical bills. That's it? That's all you're gonna give me? It is my understanding that at the trial, he claimed that the money stolen was to pay for his mother's medicine. Stay hydrated. Why are you doing this? Have you thought of your questions yet? I'm not asking any questions if I'm not getting any answers. Fine. You've been here before. What? Well, not here. But in this situation. You've been asked to end someone's life. Haven't you? I thought I was asking the questions. At this point, we're all asking questions. Why did she commit murder? I'm sure you know really well what it's like to be in a desperate situation. Time after time being told, there's nothing we can do to help. But since we're greedy, take these money guzzling pills until you die. What does that have to do with my question? Uh, 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 I'm just getting started. So if you could shut the fuck up and quit being so selfish and thinking about you and your mother's situation. Let's talk about a murderer, shall we? Picture this. Woman with kidney failure. They say, oh, we can find you a donor, but here, take these pills and they'll hold you over until then. First one, pop. There goes another chance. Not compatible. Pop. Now she's not reacting to treatment. Pop, 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 pop. And then week after week, she sits in that hospital, sharing a room with someone in a much worse situation than her. Then one day, she asked her for a favor. That's not murder. What? Were you expecting some bloodbath with gory details that you'd enjoy listening to? If anybody's demented here, it's you, you sick son of a bitch. <laughs> listening to 911 distress calls for fun, watching true crime, listening to Sword and Scale, watching cops. It doesn't take all that to commit a murder. You literally know everything about us, don't you? Is that your second question? No. You wouldn't answer it anyways. Well, I'm glad that all of that entertainment taught you something. What, what about the homeless guy? Is, is he a druggie or something? No, nope, Ben, that's your second question. What, no elaboration, no story? You asked a simple yes or no question, I answered. Those were your words, not mine. Shit. Hmm, another vote? I'll take care of this for you. Look at the E! I voted- I was trying to be nice! What did he say? Oh, you're overreacting oh, again. He said who he voted for! It doesn't matter. Tell me who he voted for! Why? You know, you know damn well why. I don't know. But you said it yourself. The game doesn't matter anymore. I already voted. That's right. You've taken yourself out of the game, but I don't know who he voted for. I don't believe you. Well, you've played along so far. You're the first one to have voted. The only one not to fight back. Thank you for that, by the way. The letter E. What does my picture say? Just... Fuck! I've done everything you asked me to do! I'm ready to vote! I just want to know what's on my picture! F-E-L-O-N. Felon. Screw this! Who do you pick? <laughs> Him? Him? Her? Him. Let me 
tell you a little story about him. If there's anyone who knows how to make a hard decision about their life, it's him. I thought you were a good kid. There's a lot you don't know about me. No. On the contrast, I know all, quite a lot about you, including your choice in life. He ended up on the streets. Not because he's some drug addict or runaway, but because he made that choice. It's not a choice. Coming out to your parents is a pretty big choice. I really don't know what I was expecting. Certainly not some recoil, but not this. Fizzing all this to some, some. So tell me, do you want him dead? He's just gonna get back on welfare. He might get back on his feet, he might not. Whether he gets that choice, he's up to the majority. He didn't ask for this! None of them did! They all can become better addictions, can be beaten felons, reform, homeless, can be successful! Thank you for sharing that. Like I said, this is a place where we can talk. I'm done. I'm done talking. You're scared. That's understandable. After all, you know why you're here. But you're scared that one of them will find that out. That you're just some girl who got pregnant as a teenager, married the boy who did the deed, tried to make it work, tried to stay together, but, oh, he left you. Oh, a bitter divorce, a fight for custody, and when it was all said and done, you turned to drink. And you sank lower and lower till you had to turn your child over to your parents. Will he even remember you when you're gone? Does he even remember what you look like? You fought so hard for custody, and you threw it all to shit. No, shut up. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up! that lowly of me then just do it. No. There's fight in you. But tell me. Tell me one thing. When this is over, if you get to live, will you go back to your child? You seem a lot calmer. Shut up. Still fighting, are we? I can't do shit. You can choose. It can be a tie, right? It can be anything. Man, I just... They're gonna choose me no matter what. No one's gonna care if I'm... Felon. I'm not a felon. You spent time! For what? Aggravated robbery. I needed the money. My mom was gonna die if she did not get those pills, and it's the last thing I wanted to do was sell drugs like my dad and my brother. It's still stealing. I just walked into a store with a little toy gun, man. Just ask for some money. That's all I did. You were arrested and convicted, and are now aptly labeled felon. But, 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 wait. We can cut you a deal. You can go free. You can go back to living your simple little life with your mommy. And guess what? We'll pay for the medicine. No more stress from that. No more of your petty little stealing.
one vote left. Your vote. We can't just sit here forever. So ask your question. And choose! Why are you doing this?! Fine. That'll be your question. Some of us deserve to live, and some of us don't. Sometimes, it comes down to chance. But this time, you can choose. Aren't you tired of seeing your transplant day get pushed back week after week after week? Well, if you make it out of here, I'll take you straight to the hospital where a brand new, fresh kidney will be waiting for you. All you have to do is choose! I won't choose! Choose! Sacrifice induced for the altar of your vanity. A jealous, hungry God craving praises of profanity. With bedroom dark and dine, and a deep mouth stained with wine, it drinks. It Ever hope to understand